Hey everybody! In this video, we're going to share with you what it's like to own an Airstream. But first, let's run that introduction footage. Welcome to the channel everybody. We've owned our Airstream here for over three years and in that time we've actually had a real good idea what it's like to own an Airstream and we wanted to kind of share with you some of the unique aspects of an Airstream and you know why you would want to buy it, why does it fit our style of camping and our style of travel better than maybe some other RVs would and you know Every RV is different for every person, and we want to make sure that you know we share with you what we liked about the Airstream and you know how it fits us. So let's talk a little bit about the design of the Airstream. You can see it sits very low to the ground, and it has a very aerodynamic shape, both from the front and back and from the sides, which allow crosswinds to pass over the Airstream much more easier than it does a flat-sided uh, RV. This really helps in towing, it helps in your fuel efficiency, and it really improves the owner experience and allows you to get more places with your Airstream. Another thing about Airstreams that you'll notice is that you almost never see one with a slide. Now, they do put slides on their Class B vans, and they did make a Airstream that had a slide on it. But most of the Airstreams out there do not have a slide. And, and that's actually a good thing. I mean, a lot of people like slides, and I don't blame them. They do open up the RV and give you a lot of space for you know, families and being inside the RV. But we've found that we'd much rather be outside the RV than inside when we're camping and the space is laid out very efficiently inside the Airstream and it allows you to you know use the space you know and not feel like you're in a cramped um, RV and we'll have Diane to kind of walk you through the inside of the Airstream and show you some of that. A big reason we chose the Airstream and probably is more of a big reason for me than for Randy was the inside layout as well as the size of the Airstream. There are a lot of windows in our Airstream unit which allow much better air circulation and ventilation. They're easier to maintain, easy to open. Moving into the bedroom, another reason we chose this layout is because we decided that we wanted to have the twin beds. And the reason we did, for a couple of reasons, is they are longer and they're much more comfortable than we thought a queen bed would be. Plus, you have this area in the middle, plus a nightstand, and then you have your two overhead lockers and your drawers underneath for storage. And each side has its own cabinet. And again, plenty of windows. In our Airstream, we also have two skylights, one in each end, that provide a lot of light into our Airstream. It also has a nice blind on each skylight, which you can open and close pretty easily. Another thing we have, if you walk a little ways up the hallway, is we have this closet, which provides a lot of room to hang things or to store things and it has this full-length mirror which I like and I'm sure other women would like it as well. If we keep moving forward in the hallway into the front of the, our trailer you will find the kitchen area and the dinette. We really like this setup when we saw it. There is plenty of storage space in the overhead lockers as well as there is another cabinet underneath your sink and counter area. We did choose 
to have the convection oven which allows you to use it as a microwave as well as a regular oven. So a couple things that I like about the Airstream, again the windows are probably my number one feature, but in the front we have a full wrap around window. You can see the curtains here. The windows go all the way to each side so you could sit here and see all the way around the campground. That's duplicated in the back of the Airstream as well. So you've got a great view from behind. So no matter where you put this, no matter where your view is on your campsite, you'll be able to see it. We've backed this up to the sound at out, Outer Banks and was able to look out at the sunset every night out of our back window. We've parked next to um, little lakes and ponds and had some great views with it. So those are a couple things that are nice. The front lounge area is very nice and comfortable. It gives us a place to come back and relax at night, watch television. You don't have to feel like you're sitting at the dinette and eat, watching TV, which you do in some trailers. So that's nice. It gives us a nice homey feel to it. There's enough floor space in here for the dogs to get around and, and find a spot. They typically like to lay by the door or, or underneath the table. Then at night they kind of come and lay between the beds. So that works good for them too. What we really like about how an Airstream is designed is it's really designed for people to travel more. Um, we talked about towing and such, but it's really set up in such a way that when you get to a campground it's very easy to set up. We usually are, you know, from the minute we park the Airstream until we're completely set up, 20 minutes. The same thing with tear down. We can get tore down and get ready to go in the morning, you know, when we're ready to leave the campground in 20, 30 minutes easily. And so those are things that are, makes it very easy to get out and travel with. Storage may be an issue with Airstreams compared to some other makes. You know, I mean, we don't have the storage capability that you would see in a fifth wheel. You know, our storage area, we have exterior storage bins and they do store quite a bit of things and you can very easily organize how you use them. We have a very large trunk in the back that we use storage bins in to help us organize that. And we actually, when we travel for long periods of time, pack clothes in there that we, you know, so we can have a, say a seasonal change of clothes. So if we get someplace that's warm, we can get rid of our heavier winter clothes and store them in the back and bring out the warmer summer clothes. And the interior of the Airstream, you know, we have a lot of well-organized storage. Underneath each dinette, there's a storage area. There are multiple roof lockers in the Airstream um, that give us plenty of storage above the dinette, above the kitchen area, on either end of the Airstream. We have a generous size closet that we can store in, both hanging, plus there's a shelf on the top and there's some shelf space on the bottom. Airstreams are built to last. In this campground, there's a 1974 Airstream people bought that they are restoring and you don't see that with other makes. There's also right over next to us a 1955 Airstream that an older couple have that have already restored it. Airstreams really hold their value and people want them. When you buy an Airstream you do see a depreciation but you don't see it at the same level as you do with other RVs. I mean we could probably resell our Airstream today and not take a big hit on the depreciation of that Airstream. Another one of the big reasons that we chose to purchase an Airstream as opposed to buying another brand of RV is the quality in which it is made. Yeah, you can see that the Airstream, the body of it is made all out of aluminum. That includes all the interior framing of the body, that's aluminum, and the interior walls are all aluminum. In fact, the only really wood used in the construction of the Airstream is the floor, and that's all covered with a underpan so that it's well protected. So these Airstreams are built to last. In fact, it's not uncommon to see Airstreams that are 20, 30, 40, 50 years old. Um, we've run into people that, that have Airstreams from 1955, 1960, the 70s, and they're very well built. And they also hold their value very well. If you buy an Airstream and take care of it, you're gonna get your money back out of it um, when you go to sell it. You're not gonna lose as much. In fact, a typical RV, you know, if you hold on to it for 10 years, you're probably not going to have much value in it. An Airstream will hold a lot of the value that you um, put into it when you bought it. So those are a couple of things that are really important about buying an Airstream. So some final thoughts on our Airstream. One question I think that really would sum it up is would we buy another one? 
yes, after having this one, um, I really think we would purchase one, whether it would be new or perhaps a renovated used one in good shape. But we took a lot of time in picking this Airstream. And one of the things that we did is we tried to make sure that it fit our needs not only for today, but into the future as well. And so we picked a floor plan that we thought we could work with. We picked a size that we knew was comfortable, that fit within our budget, but we would still have a lot of capacity for us to live in it long periods of time. Because we really, our style of traveling is to get out and spend you know, weeks or months at a time in our Airstream. And this really does work very well for that. We found that we've spent three months in the Airstream and did not have any issues with it feeling tight or small. And it worked very well for that. Um, a big key to that is, you know, you wanna go places where you can get outside and do things. Well, I hope you really enjoyed this video. If you did, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. We post new videos on a weekly basis and we'd love to have you come along. So make sure to hit that bell for notifications. And we will see you on the next video or sometime down the road. So take care everybody, be safe, and we'll see you later. Bye.